Is it good? I can't tell. Oh, there's a Praying Mantis afoot. No! Oh, we're dead. It's over for us. Run! <laughs>you guys it is Fender here and today we are back playing more Fjorder but before I get into what we're doing in this video please make sure to leave a like down below it does about the channel you guys and I do very much so appreciate it and yeah man we're here we're back we're finally here it's been uh, it's been a little bit it's been a little while and uh, I'm sure some of you guys are kind of curious as to what's been going on behind the curtain and I promise I'll give you guys that tell-all as to what's been happening and I'll give you guys an update uh, I just, uh, I think we'll do that towards the tail end of this video because there's actually quite a lot I need to fill you guys in on, and I'd much rather just hop right into the ARC. I've been having ARC withdrawal symptoms, I've been missing it, it's been all I can think about, so that is what we are doing today. We're just gonna, we're just gonna dive right in. So if you want the update and you're curious about the update, um, there's probably gonna be a section of this video towards the end where we go over all the things that, are, that have been, uh, the happenings, that are the, the goings-ons. Oh, so to collectively start today, we're all gonna take a stretch. Everybody take a stretch with me just to perfect. Yep, good stretch. And we are all gonna try and shake the rust off collectively because uh it has only been a handful of weeks and I'm already feeling mad rusty. But um when I left you guys off, we were building up to try and go after some shadow mates. Now, uh I have been thinking about this for quite a while, and because I've been forced to try and heal and I have had a lot of time on my hands, I've done a little towards this goal here a little bit so that is what we're going to be going for today we're going to be going after shadow mains and uh yeah the kind of um for those who don't know like arc's most painful frustrating irritating tame ever and uh even more so on this map because shadow mains are a passive tame and uh not just any passive tame you have to feed them fish which sounds easy enough but it's not just fish no you gotta feed them the big fish, and on this map, finding a fish that is fairly large is, uh, it's impossible. So, <laughs> that's what we have to do, and in order to do all of that, there's actually, like, a step ladder of steps to do. So, first and foremost, in order to catch the fish, you gotta make fish traps, which means we needed fungal wood. And the only place I knew that fungal wood exists on this map is in the ocean, in these weird, terrible-looking fungus, I, I guess that makes total sense now. Uh... <laughs> These fungus-like plants growing out of the ocean. So I went ahead, I collected some fungus wood, some fungus wood, I'm, I'm sticking with it, fungus wood, and I made some fish traps. And then I went ahead and grabbed all of our best ghillie armor that we had, and I actually ended up constructing a little bit more of it. Um, surprisingly, our ghillie stuff is not the best out of all of our stuff, but I went ahead and did that, and I did a little bit of fishing, a little bit of fishing offhand. So what you're really looking for here is you want to find fish that are size two and above i didn't find any fish two and above and i spent more than a handful of hours doing this so uh, i've got a couple fish here these are all 1.3 uh 1.4 look at that huge 1.4 1.3 1.7 that is the biggest fish i have found so far and uh, another 1.2 so yeah that is that is the goal we're gonna need to feed those to the shadow mains and i think i'm gonna spend a little bit more time today oops wrong incorrect there we go I'm going to spend a little bit more time today going and looking for some bigger fish because if we don't have the biggest fish, it is going to absolutely take forever to tame a shadow main. It just will. It's going to be a big pain in the butt. So I think it probably just makes more sense for us to go out and spend a little bit more time today to see if we can actually find uh, a size two or above fish. And, um... I'm not looking forward to this. I think this is going to be one hell of a <laughs> one hell of a grind. So that is how we're going to begin the day. I'm sorry that it was a little bit uh, a little bit long in the tooth for an update, but that is the uh, plan. Um, I've already been in this lake looking for fish. I already know there's not any big fish here. Alrighty, you guys. So I have been over here looking for fish for quite a while now, over an hour at this point, and uh, I have not seen really any big fish. I've actually only got one that is somewhat useful this is a size 1.3 and uh yeah it's just it's not going well at all uh but i guess i should show you guys kind of my strategy for how i've been doing this so if you try to use fish baskets and catch fish in any large body of water something that's really pretty deep say like this lake here um there's no guarantee that the fish that you want will swim over close enough to the trap for you to you know 
put it in the trap. So instead, what I've been doing is I have been going through all these little streams and things um, kind of over here in the highlands looking for fish in the shallow water here so that they can't get away when I put a trap down and it's just much easier to catch them. So that has been the strategy. And unfortunately, I have not really seen any good sized fish. So we may very well just have to take the ones I do have and uh, like see, okay. That looks like a big fish, right? But the saber-toothed salmon are deceptive. Like, it's not going to be big. I already know. 1.2. It's not bad. Remember, it's not the level. It's the size of the fish. Um, And we really need to get as close to size 2 as possible. Which is, uh... It's really just not been happening for me today. So, <laughs> we may have to very well just take what we have and go after and uh, try it. I've got a... Yeah, I've got a good bit of fish over there. But I'm really terrified that without them being level, like, two, we may, like, it may take an ungodly amount of fish to try it. So, I don't know. We may try it. We may go see what we can uh, maybe get something here. But it's not looking too good, man. This is kind of why I feel like this is one of the most frustrating tames or arc to go after. And we haven't even started the taming process yet. We are merely still fishing for these suckers right now. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give it a little bit more time here, and uh, we will see if possibly I can find anything we can use. I've already checked the Ferox Cave, back where we did the fishing, and uh, we tested out our fishing pole. And you would think a pond that size, even though it's really deep, would have a, a pretty good population of big fish genes, right? I feel like that's a, like, a reasonable guess, right? Oh my god. Look how many Ovis are in this field. Okay, well, that's, that's really good to remember. Um, <laughs> but you would think that like the odds of finding a good-sized fish in there would be pretty good. But I went in there, and I have looked actually a couple times, and I've killed all the fish. And they're all like 1.1, and below, like they're all really small fish, which may have uh, had something to do with why, why we weren't able to do as successful with fishing. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to continue to uh, cruise the canals looking for good-sized fish. There's a couple in here. And we're back, and uh, we're here in Asgard. It's raining. It's kind of clouding on my parade here, and it turns out I am maybe not the best arc fisherman with both rod and reel and basket. I just apparently cannot, you know, fish up the best quality fish. We do not have the five-star quality restaurant. I'm sorry. We just don't. So, that being said, we do have a plethora of fish ranging anywhere from, I think, 1.3 as our lowest to, yeah, 1.7. So... We do have, I think, nine fish in total, which I feel like should be enough to get at least one of these things. Hopefully. We're going to try. And then something I was thinking about while we were fishing is we do actually have the Sanguine Elixirs now. Which uh, can maybe bail us out of the, uh, you know, not having the best quality fish. So, um, with all of that, I figure we should just come to Asgard and start looking. Because what do we have to lose? We really don't have anything to lose. So... They spawn over here in Asgard in the purple trees areas, and there's actually two of them. There's one here, and then literally, I think, on the other side of this pointy mountain. Yeah, I can kind of barely see trees. Uh, there's another one over there. So, they spawn in here, and to the best of my, like, from a little, oh my god. Sorry, I'm, told, I'm rusty, you guys. I'm not used to sitting in front of a mic trying to speak comprehensive sentences. It's going to take me a minute to uh, get used to that again. Um... But to my memory, I believe they spawn in pairs. They're like, they spawn in, like, at least groups of two, I think, maybe even groups of three. So this is going to be, <laughs> this is going to be really dangerous. Yeah, so on top of all of that, uh, the thing that's kind of a bummer if we're only able to go after one today is that they are sexually dimorphic. And there's only a couple of creatures in Ark that are sexually dimorphic, meaning uh, the males look different. Wow, the males look different from the females, and they actually, I think the males and females' abilities vary slightly a little bit. So, ideally, I guess i guess with all creatures that you want a male and a female, but more so with Shadow Manes, you want at least one of each in order to, uh, you know, get both abilities here. So, I'm going to spend a little bit of time looking around here. Like I said, I'm going to be a little stingy. I'm thinking, one, oh god, 130 plus, hopefully is our cap here. Um... Yeah, I'm going to be a little bit stingy, man. And then... Oh, there's one right there. There's one right there. There's two right there. Yeah, okay. I was going to say. 95 and 55. Boo. Um, we might, I don't know how I'm going to go about killing the low-level ones. Because I feel like they're going to absolutely shred the bat. So, I don't, I don't know. I'm going to have to get creative here. But, 
Uh, yeah, so I'm going to spend some time searching around, and hopefully we can... Those are the same ones, right? We have to be really careful because they can jump. Yeah, same ones. Okay, okay. Um, I'm going to spend some time looking around, and then I'll bring you guys back, and uh, hopefully by the end of the day, we have ourselves a big aquatic cat. <gasps> oh my god, it's a 150! Okay. All right, all right, so I... <laughs> Okay, so we found a 150. Um, it's sitting there next to a level 55 as well. It is sleeping right now. Okay, maybe not. I just woke up. That's not good. Um, crap. Oh, they both woke up. Okay. Um, how the hell do we drag away the 55 so we can try and tame the 150? Oh, it's gorgeous looking too. Okay. Uh, honestly... I'm terrified of this whole situation. I feel like that we might just, you know, <laughs> destroy the 55 maybe and and maybe get alone because we need them to go to sleep. And then we walk. Okay, they're doing it. It's doing it right now. <gasps> okay, we're going to just try it. We're going to just try it. So I know that there are uh, trap methods you can use to try and tame these things, but I don't really want to have to do that if we don't need to. So... Uh, instead, we're gonna try it without using a trap, and, um, oh my god. I hear things moving back there, and it's, it's freaking me out, man. Uh, I'm gonna try and do things without a trap, and then if we really need to, we can go ahead and use a trap. Uh, because I just feel like the trap is gonna be a whole lot of extra work that I just don't really know if we actually need. So, here we go. Uh, let's go ahead, keep Echo at a safe distance, make sure you're on passive, because if things go terribly wrong, we wanna make sure that you don't die as well here. Uh, where are they? Oh, God, did I lose them already? Okay, no, 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 they're there, right there, they're there. Okay, so, uh, we have to walk up to these guys. I think I might have to have it in this slot here. Uh, we have to walk up to them while they're sleeping and feed them a fish. That is the whole thing here. All right, don't wake up. No waking up. Here we go, we're gonna go in. Um, so, I believe it doesn't actually matter if you use a sanguine elixir on creatures at the beginning of a tame, or just somewhere in between. Oh my god, let's go. Ooh, that one's totally awake. The other male is totally awake right now. I'm just gonna back up. I'm just gonna back up. Oh my god. You guys don't see me. I'm a bush. I'm a really awesome bush. <laughs> oh! I'm gonna die. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. You don't smell anything. Just take a nap. Take a nap. Both of you guys need to take a nap. Come on! I'm running. Are we good? Okay. Um, I don't think it matters when you use the Sanguine Elixir. So, I think we can start the tame. And then, as it goes, then we can feed it the Elixir. I don't think we actually have to, like, start the tame by using a Sanguine Elixir. So, I think that's what we'll do is we'll save it to, like, the very end in case things do go wrong here. That way, we don't actually go about wasting the one we got. So, all right. The next time they go to sleep... What is that? Oh, that's a Dimetrodon. Okay. Uh, the next time they go to sleep, we'll try to walk up again. But we need them both to pass out. I don't, I really don't feel like we can drag one away without the other one, without the other one becoming a real issue. Oh, okay. I got one feet in. Is it good? I can't tell. Oh, there's a pre mantis afoot. No! Oh, we're dead. It's over for us. Run! Run faster than that! I'm heavy. I'm so heavy. Oh, come on. Where's our bat where we need him? I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Leave me alone. Oh, God. Okay, we're good. We're out. I don't I don't know what happened to the 150, but we're going to try and kill this one now while the 150 is enamored by its fish. Hopefully, he's sleeping it off. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, we're good. We're good. We just got to take off the poison. Let's get rid of this mantis. I don't know where the 150 went. Is it on the tracker? Do we got it on the tracker? We do. Okay. Uh, oh, it's right there. It's sleeping. Okay. All right. Oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. That actually went a lot better than I thought it did. How are we doing on health? I feel like we didn't do too bad. Oh, my God. It did a lot of damage to our pants, though. We didn't have any blueprint for the pants. The pants are just kind of normal. Please don't chase that pteranodon. That chance. Listen, man. That pteranodon's not worth it. Please. Just relax. I need to get out of the water and curl up in a ball. <laughs> So we can get the second feed on you. Throw Sanguine Elixir at it here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you woke up. You didn't notice that, right? Oh, my God. 
All right, you guys. So I have one fish left, but I've got it within 78.9%. So I feel like if I could just get close enough to it without it startling and resettling or resetting, we might be able to save with elixir. Don't wake up. Don't wake up. Come on, light up. Come on, please. Did I do it? Yes! Oh, thank God. Okay, so I did startle him once in the process. And if you startle him, it resets your progress all the way to zero. So we have effectively one fish that's only size one. Oh my God. Okay, let's um let's do this. Let's pick him up. Like so. Uh let's go ahead and get Echo out so we can just get the hell out of Dodge. And then let's go try him out, man. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. That's not as stressful as I remember Shadow Ta or Shadow Mains being. From what I remember, they take, uh, oh my god, a hop, skip, a jump, you, you cross your fingers, you lick your eyebrow, and oh my god. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Alright, let's breathe, let's get let's get out of Asgard, let's try him out, and let's actually go look at him. Oh my god, alright, let's actually, I'll start the teleportation, I think we are in Vanaland uh, East, right? Think East, and then Northeast, okay. Uh, where is this man? Right here, so he's got, oh! 41 points in the health. That's really good. 27 in the stamina, which is mad. 26 in the ox, and no one cares. 37 points in the food, which is kind of hard. Oh, and 38 in the melee? This is kind of an insane cat. And, and we kind of messed it up the taming effectiveness. It only tamed out at 98% taming effectiveness. So odds are, it could have been a little bit better. Alrighty, guys, so I put all of our stuff away, and we can now finally take a good look at our new Aqua Cat, man. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So, I actually really haven't gotten a good look at this thing yet, because whilst I was taming it... Oh my god. Um, whilst I was taming it, I had the taming tracker on, so there's just a big blue diamond on it everywhere. Okay, surprisingly, this thing is way more pink than I initially thought it was. I thought it was more purple in the biome over there, but you know what? He looks pretty good. He's actually really good looking. Also, I'm going to need a naming convention for these guys. I have no idea what the hell the name of Shadow Mane. Um, give me some name suggestions down below. What What do we name a purple pink Aqua Cat, man? I, I have no idea. Anyway, uh, dude, let's put Echo back and let's actually, let's put him away as well. And let's just geek out over his stats one more time. This is insanity. Okay. So 41 points in the health. I feel like that's wild. I feel like that's really, really good. Um, and then 38 points in the melee, which isn't bad at all. Remember, we're going for like a high high 30s, low 40s. And it also got a high end food roll. So if we had perfect tamed this thing and it didn't have a crazy food roll, like, and those points were allocated elsewhere, this Shadow Man actually could have been just outrageous so uh <laughs> thank god we didn't get stuck with our weird oxygen curse um or i mean we did get the food roll but we could have had a really high oxygen stat on it which could have been terrible so anyway let's go ahead let's check him out let's see what uh what we can do with him man it has been a little bit since i have played with a shadow mate oh my god oh my god he looks so good oh i love him i love him so much the he's the pink is throwing me off a little bit but i definitely love him a lot uh, all right, so, uh, honestly, you guys, Shadow Mains are kind of like, I feel like Final Fantasy fighting type characters. They have so many wombo combos and things that you can do with them is actually insane. So, uh, bear with me while I try and make my brain work. Uh, so, it's got its normal left attack. Whoa, I already messed that left attack. Okay, here we go. Shaking the rust off all together. It's got its normal <laughs> left click attack. Little bite, little slash. Nice, nice. Uh, and then it's right click, I think, is a dash, right? Yeah, so you can do this, and then, boop, it'll teleport you over here. And I think, uh, if there's anything, oh, yeah, yeah, perfect. If there's anything nearby, like we just did, you will hit the, it'll chain, like, react, I believe? I know, I'm describing this terribly. Let me just, we'll walk into the Aberration Cave, and maybe I can explain better when I actually have enemies that I can ping off of. Here we go. All right, here we go. I always feel like they're slower than they should be. All right, here we go. So, uh, the right click, I feel like. All those ravages over there like this. Boop. Yeah. So if there's multiple things nearby to hit, it'll actually create a chain reaction and just throw itself at all of them, which is awesome. Um, it's not a huge damage attack, but I feel like it stuns them too, which is kind of wild. Also, 
We are destroying everything. <gasps> we handled that so easy. All right. Uh, nice. Let's keep going here. So it's got those two attacks that I can remember. And then I think it also has, let's see, this one? Yeah, okay. So the male can turn itself invisible like this, whereas I think the female can turn, like, a group of things invisible all together. But we go super slow. We're, like, in stalker mode. We're stalking something. <laughs> all right. So invisibility, just like the bat with the shadow mains, it's not nearly as good. And then uh, I think, I don't know if we can do it now. Let's test it out. Let me get a gamma up for you guys so you guys can see a little better. That's not how you spell gamma. There we go. Uh, so I think, I don't know if we can do it without having a, a, a yeah, ability requires mate boost. Uh, the male's X attack also roars like a dire wolf's howl will. And I believe it gives them all the boost, which is wild. And then I think our, our final attack here. Oh, that's a rock trick. Rock's rock trick is I think these guys get something similar to like an alt. So if I just hold my left click, boom. Oh my God. Oh, do it again. Boom! <laughs> That's insane. So if you see the little blue bar underneath all the icons, that is our alt meter. And as soon as we fill that up, if I hold down left click, we will actually do 600 damage at a time. Look at this. Here we go. We'll do it one more time. Bam! 600 damage in one go. That is ridiculous. One more time. Come on. Do it. Boom! There we go. Um, I think also it refills automatically if we kill the thing with it. So like this, this Arthur right here, if I kill it, bop, yeah, yeah. So you can almost effectively chain it together over and over and over again, which is just ridiculous. All right, we got, there's a spino over there. See, what is that? Ascended Pteranodon saddle and a Ramshackle Plesiosaur saddle blueprint. That's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. Let's go ahead and let's eat this thing here. Go ahead and alt it. Oh my God, you get the alt. Oh, I missed. You get the alt so much faster than I remember doing. Boop. We'll just teleport into it. <laughs> we got the routes, baby. All right, alt it, alt it. Boom. That's ridiculous. The fact that we can chain those together is going to be... Yeah, dude, shadow mains are so broken. I, I totally understand why they're so painful to try and take... We already have 17 levels. Holy cow. Uh, I totally understand why they are so painful to tame if they're going to be this great, but... <sighs> Gee whiz, man. At least give us something to find these fish. The fish are such a pain in the butt. Let's go ahead, I guess, with our 17 levels. Let's go. Ah, oh, God. We really don't need anything. Like, I think we're perfect the way we are. I think, uh, I guess let's get them up to at least 10K at the very... You know what? Let's go even further than that. Let's go, like, 15 just for safekeeping. Okay, that actually will take a couple more levels here. And then, uh, let's go. Let's kill this thing, too. I love that. We flanked him with the routes. Alt him. Boom. Oh, my God. 600 damage in one go. Then we get it back, and we're going to do it again. Oh, my God. The fact that you get that so fast is actually kind of wild. All right. Uh, let's continue making our way through this, 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 uh, the aberration cave here. I had totally forgotten just how good the shadow maids were. It's like. You know, it's one of those things in Ark where you, like, you always remember that Shadow Mains are the absolute alpha boss creature. But, like, when you don't have one regularly, you kind of forget exactly how overpowered they are. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be a lot of fun. All right. Uh, I know that there's going to be a Ravager Horde over here on the last the last little bit. Let me drop all this stuff because we're going really slow. There we go. Uh, let's go over and kill this Ravager Horde that I'm sure... Yep, yeah, right here. Perfect. Right on cue. And bop, this is gonna be nuts. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> that chain was no look at that. Oh, I love that. All right, let's kill him real quick. So we're doing like 120? Oh, 160. 160 damage initially, which is kind of crazy. These are nuts. These are nuts. Uh also you guys, uh I'm sure you guys are noticing. Hold on, let me let me kill this. Let me kill this and I'll get this explaining some stuff. Um, I'm sure you guys are what level are you, man? Get ulted on! Uh, I'm sure you guys are noticing... That was a 145 Ravager. That the runes are back. As you can see, there's one over there. Uh, that is because we had to update the map in between our last episode and now. And for whatever reason, it bugged and our runes are just like all over... Oh. 
Oh, that's really good. What is the damage of that? 203. What is ours at? 210. So technically ours is better, but we could always crafting skill that and probably get something outrageous. All right. Those aren't bad drops. Uh, but yeah, so I don't... I'm not really sure why. I think it could also have been my fault 100% possible. But I think it glitched out. Oh, my God. Oh, we glow in the dark, too. I forgot. Look at the little neon. God, Shadow Mage are so good. Uh, I think it glitched out. And so, essentially, all of our runes have reset, I think. Uh, which is kind of a bummer. So, at some point, I'll have to go in my free time and go and, like, recollect all the ones that I think we have had, I think. Um, because I don't know. I don't remember exactly all the ones we had. So, I think we were around a hundred ish um but it also could very well have been my fault because one of the things i want to tell you about oh, that was a storm one of the things i wanted to update you guys and tell you about is whilst i've been sick and recovering i have not just been sitting on my hands and uh doing absolutely nothing with the channel even though it might seem that way i've also i've actually been working on a couple projects i've been doing everything in my power i absolutely can do without like you know using my voice uh for the channel as much as possible so there are not one, but two major projects in the works right now coming towards the channel. So there's some big videos that I have been working on. And uh, it could have been my fault because I'm going to give you guys a little teaser. It has something to do with a different map. Uh, I was working on a different map, testing some things out. So it is also very possible that I messed something up and it reset the runes. Totally possible. But I really do think it was like a, it was an update that reset our our runes on that front. I'm not really sure why. Regardless, it's not really that big a deal. We're already, like, essentially... I think we are actually... Yeah, we are max level, so it's not, like... I don't know. It doesn't really give us that much of a benefit there. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's see. Kill this guy. Bop! <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let's kill this guy here, and then uh, we'll, we'll put the rest of our points into health. We'll get him up to 15k. Boom! 600 damage, and the alt is nuts. That's actually crazy. All right. I know it looks like he's doing a lot of damage to us, but he's not. Here we go. And bop. Nice. I would, if we can find a good female, which obviously we're not going to be able to do in this video because it is going to take way too long to find the fish necessary to get one. But if we find a good female, this might actually be a decent boss killing creature um, for the, you know, obviously all the bosses. That makes sense, right? Boss killing creature for all the bosses. Um, the real problem is, I mean, I guess with this male... Technically, we don't really need a high-level female, right? Like, we have all the stats we probably do need already on this man, which is wild. Let's put this other point in the melee while we're moving here. Uh, that's... <laughs> that's actually what. So, I guess if we really wanted to, it was just going to create more work for me. Uh, we could probably tame a low-level female shadow main and um, just breed it a bunch of times until all the stats pass over. Oh, my God. That's a giga. I forgot. I forgot this is giga alley. What level is it? 20? I'm not. I'm not messing with it. I'm not. You can't make me. We might We might take on this snow owl, though. Bop, bop. <laughs> oh, it grounds creatures, too? Oh, I forgot about that. That's, that's honestly really good. All right, kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Watch the Giga, though. No! <laughs> oh, no. That was a level 150R snow owl. I was honestly just so in the zone, just killing the... Oh, no. We could have used that. That could have been so good. Okay. Well. <laughs> That's lame. All right. Well, we got the main objective done. We got at least one shadow main. We actually got a really insane shadow main. Um, so, I guess now I can start giving you guys a little... Oh, also, I think we can do like... Yeah. Watch this. Yeet! <laughs> Shadow mains are honestly, they're, they're so broken. They're some of the craziest creatures in the game. Can we do it? How long? Do, here we go. Straight up, boing! And then I think we do a flip, right? Yeah, it flips! I love it. Oh my god, shadow mains are so good. Uh, anyway, whilst I'm running around kind of just being a dingus and, and getting myself reacquainted with the game, and like I said, shaking the rust off, um, I'm sure a lot of you guys kind of want to know what is going on with me. I've gotten a lot of questions on about it, and I don't really have a good answer for you. So, if you've been around, you probably have noticed that when we started this series, my voice was probably, probably sounded really pretty good. Uh, my voice as it is right now, it probably sounds, hopefully, 
hopefully to you guys it sounds a lot better than than it, it did when i last left off i've been resting the hell out of it i have been drinking the most ungodly amount of tea man i i can't do any more tea i can't do it uh but essentially my voice started like degrading over time getting worse and worse and initially i thought it was a cough i thought it was just a cough and i was like not really worried about it i figured it'd go away um but then it became, you know, increasingly obvious that it was something more than a cough. And uh, it was actually fatiguing my voice. I was totally losing my voice. I wasn't able to do videos. It actually hurts. It feels, um, it feels very raw. Like something I can, I've been like comparing it to is uh, a tonsillectomy. So anybody who's gotten their tonsils removed, it's, it's eerily similar feeling to that. Like it hurts pretty good. Can we kill you? Can you like stop running? Here we go. Just zap into you there we go bop <laughs> um so it feels eerily similar to that is what it seems like so that was a 145 versus ethereum why am i killing all the best stuff right now while i'm in story mode uh oh god <sighs> anyway so yeah i um it feels very similar to that and when i decided to i where i got well, i guess it whittled my voice down to the point where i couldn't really function anymore that's when I told you guys, like, I absolutely have to take a break. If there's there's nothing I can do. I can't physically. My body cannot keep up with the videos. So initially, I was like, right on. I'll just rest my voice. Within a week, it'll probably be better. But within five days, five days or so, uh, maybe more, maybe less, somewhere. Like, oh God, I don't remember. I think about five days, though. It got worse. It actually went worse, and I wasn't even using it, which, you know, clearly is extremely alarming. So uh, we... Did our best to get into the doctor, and the first one that I was able to get into, because was that an alpha? Hold on. Is that an alpha creature? Is it? I swear to God, I'm seeing a glow over there. Yeah, yeah, that is. What level is it? We might be able to fight it. It's a, <laughs> it's a 150 alpha raptor? Okay, how much health do we have? Not enough. Okay, let me, let me, uh, we might come back to that and fight that at the end when I'm done with story time. Um... The first doctor I was able to get in because my primary, I'm going to try and, I'm going to try and pick my way through explaining what's going on without sharing too much of the fourth wall and breaking that down and too much stuff. But, uh, my primary doctor retired not too long ago. So I had to find a new one, uh, recently to go to. So it's been a, an absolute mess, but I did get into a doctor and she essentially, look how good we are. I'm getting so sidetracked. I know it's going to be the most sidetracked story ever. How good the glows look. Uh, but she essentially told me, she looked me over, she took like five seconds to look at me, she's like, you know what? It's just congestion. It's just a normal sore throat. Don't worry about it. It can't be anything else. And, um, while I was pretty sure that wasn't it, I essentially took that doctor's advice at the time and went back home, started wrestling and do that stuff. And, you know, like another five, six days passed, and it's still, it's just getting worse. It's not getting any better. It's getting worse and worse and worse. So... Now comes the point where I very clearly need to see another doctor. Like, and you can't go and see an ears and nose and throat doctor without a referral, which seems stupid, right? Like, I, I don't know. It seems stupid. Anyway, so I can't go see an ENT without a referral from another doctor. So, uh, it, it's American healthcare. So obviously it's not, nothing is happening quickly. Let's put it simply. Nothing, nothing is happening quickly. So I've been doing at this point, like two weeks doing really, really bad. Uh, and it's just getting worse, getting worse, getting worse. And I finally get in to see a doctor, and she initially, she was about to write me off as well. She's like, it sounds like a cold. And I was like, no, you need to listen. It's not a cold. It's way worse than a cold. I'm losing my stuff. And she said she had no idea what it could be. So I ended up doing an ungodly amount of, like, blood work, okay? I know, the story, it's getting, there's twists and turns, man. A lot of blood work just so that she could try and narrow it down and figure out what it what it could be what it can't be um I, I, like i mean a lot of blood work uh and essentially everything came back negative which is great news applause for fender um we're pretty good at bill of health there and it stumped her and initially she came back and said um that since it wasn't any of these things that she'd probably want to do more and then uh i don't know like three weeks in now to this like my voice being just physically raw painful really really hurting that's so scary down there uh essentially three weeks in i get another call from the doctor and she's like you know what 
I'm looking at it, and uh, while you don't, all these things came back negative, it does appear that you have an infection. Which, you know, that's never good. You never want to hear that. She didn't elaborate, even when I asked about, you know, what is infected. She didn't elaborate. So I have some sort of infection. They, I've gotten meds for it. Uh, I've been taking the meds for it. Um, and the goal, I guess, is that hopefully these help. So, I'm about one week into taking the meds, and honestly, um, I'm not I'm not better. I'm not there yet. Uh, my voice is still messed up, I'm sure you can tell. Just by doing this little episode here and just trying to talk and, and uh, you know, contribute to do the ARC series here. I love this. Look, it's so good. Um, I can tell it's going to be really bad tomorrow. It's going to really, really hurt probably after uh, I sleep on it a little bit. Um... But it's better than it was, right? Like, so instead of, like, a 9 in pain, it's, like, a 7. A 7 in pain. So, it tells me it's getting better. Uh, I can't go get an endoscopy and some other operations done. Because, again, nothing... No, American healthcare is not fast, right? So, I can't get any of that done until late December. So, I kind of just decided... Um, I'm not waiting to do a video for three, four months. I'm not doing it. I can't do it. I've already been sad. I've been missing it. I've been wanting to play Ark. I've, I've just, I don't know. I missed it. I've missed you guys. I'm just interacting with you guys. So uh, I kind of figured I'm going to try and take it in stride. Um, I'm not feeling 100% better, but I'm sure as you guys have noticed, I think my voice is sounding better, right? Like I'm, I'm definitely taking steps forward that I need to in order to be, you know, I'm on the right path to getting healthy again, which is is good. So I figured we would take it in stride. And, um... Okay, good. We'll just absolutely decimate this thing. Bop! Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Um, and I figured we'll, we'll try and ease into the video making. Uh, the way I see it, if I am... If I can maybe start steadily using my voice more and more instead of absolutely doing nothing with it at all, uh, maybe I can strengthen it back up and that might help a little bit. So, in terms of videos and our upload schedule coming anywhere close to near back to where it was um we're probably not we're, we're probably gonna e ease into our upload schedule very very slowly uh depending on what my body will allow and and we figure out you know when we figure out 100 percent what is going on um and when, you know i get better so uh that is kind of the plan i just i just i don't know i in the long run it would probably be healthier to not do absolutely anything at all but until I see any evidence that that is going to be helpful, and since I am having to wait three months anyway towards the end of December before I can actually do the operations and get the endoscopies and stuff, I'm, I just, I can't just sit around and do nothing, man. I want to do these projects. Like I said, I've got two projects I'm working on. I want to bring back the series. So I'm just going to, that's the plan. We're going to slowly ease in into video making again. We're going to see what my body allows and just hopefully it gets better. So, uh, uh, <laughs> Obviously, um, it's not, it's not the greatest news, right? But I feel like we went from, like, DEFCON 5 to, like, maybe DEFCON 3. Do I have that right, or does it go up? Does it go from 3 to 5? I don't know. Point is, I'm better not great, right? Oh, God, that's a thumbnail right there waiting to happen. Uh, <laughs> I'm better not great, right? So, I, that's kind of where we're at with it, man. We're kind of where we're at with it. So, the obvious big scare is, um... The doctor is concerned that it might end up being the big C word, right? We, so that's 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 what we're hoping to avoid here. Um, yeah, that's kind of where it's at. So I'm not too worried about it. You guys shouldn't be worried about it either. Uh, just bear with me though, as uh, as you know, as I go through this. So uh, you guys have been nothing but the best, honestly. I I owe you guys a whole lot of thanks. I really do. You guys have been killing it with support. Uh, I cannot believe that I've actually been getting any support at all along this way. Uh, the channel has actually been growing. That's wild to say. I haven't been able to do any videos, and you guys have been killing it with support so much. The channel has not... It's slowed down a little bit, but it's still growing. Like, we haven't plateaued at all. It's absolutely insane. I can't thank you guys enough. You've been overwhelming with support, and honestly, it... It, it really helped my mental out when I was at the worst of this thing. So, um... I'll keep you guys posted as we go, and, uh, you know, hopefully there's some better, there's some, there's more positives on the horizon, hopefully, but that's kind of where we're at. I figured, I don't know, I, I owe you guys kind of a more in-depth explanation for what's going on, and 
hopefully that kind of helps, right? Hopefully that kind of helps. Anyway, so what what's uh what is our health at? It's at four thousand. Uh, I'm not fighting the Alpha Raptor at four thousand. Let me actually uh let me kill a couple things. Let me force feed our mans. Let's heal up a little bit, and then let's go take on that Alpha Raptor, and we'll see uh what kind of levels we get. But first. We gotta find an unsuspecting victim now, like a moose. Here we go. I'm gonna definitely need way more meat than what you're gonna be able to give me, but yeah. Come on. Give me the stuff and things, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. We <laughs> oh my god. No! <laughs> All right, we didn't need a 150 moose, but uh, you know, still might have been nice to maybe have that. It also only gave us 22 burgers. All right, we're gonna kill that Diplodocus over there. Kill that Diplodocus. And then move over to the uh, the Alpha Raptor. Anyway, yeah. So I know that was probably an incoherent mess of ramblings, but I I don't know. Make out of it what you can. Um, like I said, I'm trying to uh, withhold as much super personal info as I can because you know, on you know for obvious reasons. So, um, but yeah. <laughs> but I don't I don't really know what else to say about it, man. It's just, other than thank you and. And uh, hopefully, you just ride it out, man. Oh my god. There's just 140 things everywhere at this point. This is going to be 150 Carnal Watch. Here we go. Oh my god. 135. Close enough. All right. Do we have meat? Yeah, we good. We're good. All right. So I'm going to heal up uh, the Shadow Man a little bit. Uh, probably not all of this meat worth. I, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm going to heal him up. I'll bring you guys back. We will slay out the Alpha Raptor or get. <laughs> or with my luck, we might get totally decimated by it. I don't know. But we'll do that here in a minute, and then, yeah, we'll see, see what happens. All right, so I said I wouldn't eat all of the meat, but I have damn near eaten all of the meat in that stack. So we are going to use all of our raw meat, or what if we get to 10,000 health? Whichever comes first, I'm thinking, oh, God, it's going to be close, actually. I think probably 10,000 health. Yeah, got that, no problem. And boom, okay, 10K health. Let's go ahead and put that in there, 395 melee. Let me gamma down real quick, and uh, let's go... Let's go beat some Alpha Raptor butt, man. Hopefully it's still over here and hasn't spawned because of Ark. Uh, are you still? Yeah, he's still there. Look at him. Look at him. He didn't even know what's going on down there, man. He just... <laughs> oh, God, Ark. I have missed you. All right, let's go and uh, let's get some ourselves. Why can't I do this? Can I... Boop. Get him, man. Get in there. Okay, apparently I can't do that. Let's just... We're fighting it. Here we go. So we're doing 159, 200, 209. Oh, that's right. I think the shadow mains damage scales over time. Right. May, uh, uh, alt it. There we go. Okay. It's actually doing a lot more damage than I wanted it to. Let's back up a little bit. Come over here. Fight me on my own terms. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Nice. I think also the fact that we're in the water gives us a buff, right? Yeah. We got the Hydra to buff in the top right. Your dino's speed, health, regeneration, and damage are boosted. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we're going to absolutely destroy you, bro. Alt. Bam. 796. Oh, my God. Maybe this is what we use to take out Sturborn. What do you think? The big bear? We just take out. We take it on with, with uh, the Shadow Main army? We totally could. Because it's getting a little bit crazier than I had uh, initially thought it was going to. All right. Alt it again. Ugh. 796. That's a lot of damage, man. How are we doing? We getting close? You feeling like you want to be dead yet, man? One more bite. Frag out. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look how bloody it is. Oh, my God. All right. One more. One more. Here we go. This is the one right here. Bop. Maybe not. Hello? Is it going to die? We don't even have a health arrow on it, dude. What? It looks like it's dead. Okay, I was going to say, it looks so bloody. All right. Uh, is there anything here we need to keep? I think, did we get the runes? We did get the runes. Nice. Then I don't think we really got anything else that's, like, super helpful here. Um, Not really. Not really. I can just throw all that stuff away. Uh, okay, listen, man. This is, this is not professionalism. <laughs> Where were you when we were beating the hell out of your, your boy? Oh, you know what I think I did? Hold on. I think, um... Let me do this. Disable prey detection. No, no. Okay. All right. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Uh, what am I? Uh, enable prey detection. 
There we go. For some reason, our Fear Hawk wasn't showing us the health uh, bar of, of those things. Anyway, so uh, we got what? 11 points now. What are we going to use? We're doing like 200 a hit. Can we get closer to 450? We might just be able to get there. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, baby. All right. So what kind of damage are we doing now with 50 more points into uh, in the melee? Let's go kill this there, Zeno, real quick and find out. Let's see. What's going on over here? Let's do the alt first. Like, uh, so all... I... I seen that Dimorphodon, thought it was a Microraptor, and panicked. All right, so we're doing 180... Oh, 245. 245 on the swings. And what is the alt doing? Uh, oh! <laughs> 915 a shot. What's going on over here? Bop! Oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Guppy, guys. All right, anyway, you guys, it looks like... We are doing the darn thing. We are moving up in the world and we are making plays. So, uh, like I said, try not to worry about me too much. I know some of you guys are really worried and uh, it's actually really touching how much you guys care. Um, I was not expecting that. I really wasn't. So, thank you guys. Try not to worry too much. Uh, we're going to go through this. We're going to knock it out. I'm, I, I'm going to come out on top of this thing, man. I'm sure of it. I'm... I'm I'm gonna figure it out, man. I'm gonna figure it out. But the Ark series, there's a lot of us for us to still do, man. There's a lot of us to do in Ark in general. There's a lot for us to do here in Fjordar still. So, oh my god. Oh, that was almost so perfect. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's a lot. There's still a lot coming. I still have a lot of plans for this series, you guys. We have a lot of stuff to do, and uh, honestly, I, I want to do it. I've got. I want to get in there and start doing it. So, um. You got a lot to look forward to. Like I said, two project videos coming out somewhat soon. We got this series. I'll start picking up. Like I said, as my body is able, I can already tell that my voice is uh, tightening up a, a little bit right now. So um, probably good to cut it off now and uh, get ahead of this thing. That is, you look, <laughs> you look wild. Anyway, you guys. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.